When I asked my friend, who was one of the world's foremost authorities in atmospheric science, about the artificial snow that is falling all over North America, I asked him, what is this aerosol polymer compound? How great, how great. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. And why was this compound used rather than the normal snow-producing aerosols? After researching the areas being aerosoled, this was the answer he was given. The main uses for a quote-unquote snow, as it is commonly known, are military. He was then cautioned that open-ended conversations on this topic should be strictly avoided. As for the cover story, which I mentioned would come immediately following any information he had for me, if such information is classified, this is what he was instructed to ensure the public. The military applications of snow, quote-unquote, are life-saving and truly beneficial. So I have done a microscopic analysis on this military delivered artificial polymer snow as it has been confirmed. And this is what I learned. The first thing that I found truly remarkable was there were polymers in this of different types. There were white sheets of polymers, and entire sheets, and there were holes in these polymers where living organisms had created an effect of expelling gas and creating holes in these polymers like Swiss cheese. In one instance, we see a living organism traveling down this polymer. It gets stuck in this concave hole that another living creature has made when it was dying. It comes out of that hole and comes down only to be swallowed up by the polymer itself. I'm not entirely certain if the polymer itself swallowed this creature or if the creature just dove down into the polymer or if it actually was fused with the polymer because something else diabolical was found in this military snow. Depleted uranium unmistakably was found in this military snow. One of the reasons for depleted uranium in aerosols that are being sprayed by the military are to fuse living and non-living, animate and inanimate, organic and inorganic particulates together to make a new species, fusing them together to make a cyborg organism. And we are actually able to view this process in this military application snow. Here we can see obvious depleted uranium. It is most definitely depleted uranium. we can see the depleted uranium fusion that was produced into a renucleated new species. This is a mecha organism. Okay, it's a mechanical organism or a cybernetic organism. It is a single cell cyborg. There are polymer producing nanites the depleted uranium is being used as a catalyst to create this mecha orga fusion process. And as it happens, these holes are being created in this polymer sheet. 
because methane gases are released. That's part of the reason for the green color in the sky when this is going on. Another reason is for the other organisms that are being aerosoled into the sky. This is what you get when you fuse a single-celled organism with a polymer producing nanoparticle. A nano cyborg which is a polymer fiber 3D printer. You've seen those 3D printers. You can actually program it to print out anything. It's the forerunner of Star Trek's replicator. You can give it all the materials it needs down to the very molecular structure and give it a computer program to tell it exactly what to print out and it will 3D print out anything. That's what these are. These are nano cyborg polymer fiber 3D printers. They are programmed to print 3D print polymer fibers. Here we see two large polymer fibers a newly fused nano cyborg ready to start production right here a nano cyborg 3D printing polymer fibers right here as it's happening and a DU nano fusion in process This green globule goo, I believe it is organic material that is being rained down on us for purposes of making us ill. Here we have more polymer fibers. Here is a more close-up view of a nanite that is creating a polymer fiber. Here is a nano cyborg polymer fiber 3D printer in the act right now. It's printing out polymer fiber 3D out of both ends. This is a polymer fiber mass following its nano cyborg builder. Ever wonder why we're seeing so many rainbows in strange places? There are countless nanoparticles throughout this military snow, this artificial snow. Here's another polymer fiber. The next thing I found was shiny radioactive barium, which is actually unfortunately normal in precipitation now because it's being aerosoled so much 
by the military. There were polymer fibers all throughout this. One of the organisms that I found is a genetically engineered organism that was discovered in 2010. It's called Pseudomonas syringae and what it does is it creates freezing at low temperatures thus destroying crops. Pseudomonas syringae. It was engineered to destroy crops and it's being rained down on us. And here we see evidence of another reason for this military application which is life-saving. Okay? Sarcasm alert here. Here we see a desiccated human red blood cell strand. The whole strand right there still together. These are desiccated human red blood cells. We also see single desiccated human red blood cells by themselves having broken from the strand and we have activated human red blood cells that are dividing so they're not waiting until they fall down on the ground they're not waiting to activate these for a specific moment in time they're activating them on the way down this is for plague purposes. It is for the purposes of an epidemic. These desiccated human red blood cells have been opened up. The shell, the outer shell is opened up and the nucleus is taken out. It is renucleated with a disease. A replicating disease and it uses this shell of this blood cell to protect it until it can be injected into whatever host and destroy or debilitate whatever host. This is for epidemic and or pandemic. This is the military's life-saving snow application.